How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, today is a good day. It's officially new bike day. We're headed to the shop to pick up my new bike. Let's go pick up this bad boy and see if we can get it all put together today. What do you say? Hi. Okay, some very precious cargo has been acquired. Oh my goodness. Well, you can probably guess at this point what this bike is. We're back at the home shop. We have acquired the new bike. Now, we had a slight change of plans. Uh, I was actually hoping that the experts at the shop would be able to assemble this all for me, get it all tuned up. However, it, the bike got stuck in customs for like a week and a half. So that was a big process and then the bike just barely showed up at the shop and I have to leave bright and early tomorrow morning for my first enduro race. So the plan is that tonight I'm going to just assemble this thing completely stock and then next week what I'll do is take it back to the shop and have the guys do a couple upgrades to the bike. Okay so my new bike for this year is the 2024 Rocky Mountain Altitude. This bike just got released in April so I feel very lucky to have my hands on one. This is Rocky Mountain's enduro bike, and in their words, is built to charge harder, go faster. It's purpose built for speed, and built to demolish descents and hold boulder lines. This bike has 170 millimeters of travel in the front and 160 in the rear. It's available in full 29 inch wheel configuration or mullet with a 27.5 in the rear. My bike is a size large with 29 inch wheels front and rear. So my specific bike is the C70 Shimano build. I'll put all the specs up there on the screen. This bike is also pretty adjustable. You've got adjustable reach headset positions. So in the box it comes in the neutral position and then you've got adjustable headset cups that you can drop in that bring the reach back by five millimeters or forward by five millimeters. It also has the Ride 4 geometry adjustment. So that allows you to make this bike either super slack, completely focused on descending, or you can bring it in the steep position to make it a little more balanced and improve climbing. Honestly, these are the bikes that I love to ride the most. Um, my favorite trails to ride are steep and gnarly, and so it's got a lot of suspension travel, and that little extra cushion for the push-in can be pretty confidence-inspiring and an extra layer of security for me. Well, it's a couple hours later, and we are getting close. I was honestly slightly concerned about the color just because I've never had a colorful bike before, but uh, man, in person it looks I think better than the pictures online. So this is basically all stock. I'm gonna put my favorite seat on there, put my pedals on. None of the tracks this weekend are crazy steep and so I switched the Ride 4 chip to the steep position. So that puts the seat tube angle at about 77.8 I believe and then head tube angle is about 63.8. That's the steepest position possible on this bike. It's also got the headset cups, which is pretty cool. I dropped in the minus five headset to bring that reach in just a little bit. We'll see how that feels. It's kind of crazy that I literally just assembled this and then tomorrow is practice for an enduro race. And uh, two days from now, I'm gonna be just doing a full enduro race on this thing. So really gonna break it in, I guess. I was awfully curious when I bought this bike if it was gonna be able to fit two water bottles in the frame. And the answer is, <laughs> it does. Look at that. That's as close as you can get by sliding it down as much as I could. I was able to fit it right in that crease. It works. This bike has been completely redesigned this year and it's got a new LC2R suspension system. The suspension system was actually introduced first back in 2006 on their Slayer 
uh, but they're bringing it back now on the altitude. LC2R stands for Low Center Counter Rotating uh, and is basically Rocky Mountain's take on a virtual pivot suspension design where it puts the shock way down low in the frame. So there are a few reasons why Rocky Mountain says they went to the suspension design. First is for better small bump control. Next is for more predictable support. They state that it increases bottom out resistance and gives a lower center of gravity. So those are kind of the main reasons. In the upcoming weeks I'm going to be putting the bike to the test and uh, I'll give my thoughts on the suspension design and how it compares to other virtual pivot suspension designs. Oh yeah. Okay, time to mess with the in-frame storage compartment a little bit. Hmm, that's kind of tricky to get off there with that other water bottle on there. So, the bike comes with this pouch. It just unzips, just a big burrito pocket. It's also got this one. Velcro. So I'm going to try to figure out how I want to fit these in here. I think this will be super nice to store a spare tube, my multi-tool, some tire levers, some zip ties, um, my keys. Uh, I'm hoping that with the in-frame storage and the ability to put two water bottles, I can basically eliminate my hip pack. Well, after a couple hours of fun, this pretty girl is assembled. I think she looks pretty good. I'm happy, very excited for the bike. Like I mentioned, I'll be making a couple changes in the upcoming weeks. No better place to break this in than a 20 plus mile enduro race, right? So I'll keep you posted on how she rides and uh, I'll do a full bike check here in a couple weeks when I get it built up exactly how I want. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.